Well, now to a weather alert. Let's take you for a live look outside. Right now, beautiful blue skies. Uh, meteorologist Rob Ellis is here now with new information on the storms, though you're tracking that could be moving in soon. Yeah, you saw kind of how steamy it looked out there as well. And it's the heat and humidity that's combining to not just make it feel uncomfortable, but also give us that chance for storms. For now, it is relatively quiet. The lake breeze has moved in. That is what you're seeing with this little thin line. It is not actually rain that's falling, but I've turned up the sensitivity on the radar so that I can see where that lake breeze is because it can become a focal point for any storms that are going to develop later this afternoon. Let me do take you up to the north, the northern part of McHenry County, where some storms are continuing to develop. The lake breeze is having some impact here, but the reason I'm also mentioning that is because if we see more coverage, some of that may spill over into parts of Lake County, and here's Highland Park. I just want to make sure our crews are aware. There are some storms about a county over, but I think at least through the next maybe half hour or so, you're going to be okay, but I will keep my eye on the radar for you. Uh, as far as what to expect, with temperatures. Look at this. The lake breeze has really cooled you down 72 in Highland Park, but you go away from the lake breeze. It's still into the upper 80s and even 94 in Sycamore. It is that heat and humidity that is still going to be in place for areas away from the lake, and it's why we're also expecting storms to continue developing farther to the west. And the reason I'm showing you the larger view is because this has really gotten its act together. This is a line, a cluster of thunderstorms that's expected to race across parts of Iowa, eventually into parts of Wisconsin and eventually eventually into uh, Illinois as well. That may take about eight hours or so, but that's why this severe thunderstorm watch is going to be in place until midnight for us. How long is it going to take that to get here? Well, it's still about 400 miles away, but if it moves at about 50 miles an hour, that gives us about eight hours to keep an eye on it. Still feels like 114 in Kankakee. Currently, we have the heat advisory that's in place until 8 p.m. We have a flood watch that's in place until 3 o'clock in the morning because any storms that do get active and are expected to continue you developing are going to be slow moving and they're going to produce a lot of heavy rain. Even that line of storms that may eventually move through. You get through all of that for tonight. Another chance for some storms for tomorrow, but not as severe or not potentially as uh, impactful as what we're dealing with today. We carried that rain chance through Friday by the weekend. We do expect to clear things out and calm things down a good bit, but watch for the rest of this evening and then overnight into tomorrow as well, guys. All right, we will Rob. Thanks. You got it.